Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to address an, um, an aspect of our consciousness, um, we could call this an archetype, that Tony Brooks, who conceptualized the Chrysalis Tarot deck, calls the Watcher. Um, and this card, um, the card in the deck that is called the Watcher is the traditional Queen of Cups. Um, looks like this in the chrysalis deck. Um, now, um, Tony Brooks, who conceptualized this deck, um, um, describes this card as the psychic and mystic. And the figure in the deck is um, prototyped after an actual person named Marie Laveau. Um, also dubbed the Voodoo Queen of New Orleans, um, who um, was pretty famous, I guess, around the beginning of the 20th century as a, a the local healer, mystic, what we would call the witch, um, and here dubbed the Watcher, okay? So um, I'm going to address the Watcher um, from my own perspective. You know, this is not necessarily how, you know, Tony Brooks... By the way, the artist... I, I forgot to give credit to the artist. A shout out to artist Holly Sierra. Um, one of my favorites. <laughs> so this is my interpretation of the Watcher. And, um, I mean, I, I see the Watcher as a part of our consciousness or our psyche, but we could also refer to the Watcher as an archetype because the definition of archetype, um, as I understand it, is a um, an energetic imprint in, in our psyches, okay? So, um, the, the, the Watcher archetype, um, I see as a wisdom within ourselves that is able to observe. Um, and uh, the and observes not with not with judgment or analysis okay so this is why you know this card is the traditional um um queen of cups cups is water um the cups in the tarot the suit refers to the heart and the emotions okay and the psyche so there's no mind stuff going on here there's no judgment there's no analysis the observer simply observes. Um, and, and, um, and this could be like within oneself privately, you know, within one's consciousness in which the watcher is observing the self. Um, I'm going to get to that a little bit more later. Um, but the, the watcher can also be the one who looks out, you know, at the other or at the community or at the society. Okay. Um, now, why is the, the watcher associated with wisdom, you know, and here Marie Laveau, you know, a healer um, and healing? Because the watcher can become the alchemist by holding what is being observed and then um and then transmuting it okay preferably transmuting it into healing or unconditional love you know or whatever you know needs to happen for the greatest good and in fact the traditional queen of cups is often called the card of unconditional love um when it comes up for me in a reading i i will often interpret or see it that way okay um so, um, so this is something, you know, that, um, you know, that, that can become the obser observation can become something active. Um, and I, this is what I do with my clients, my personal clients. When I, I listen to them and I witness them and then I'm able to, um, transmute their, this energy, um, and by infusing it with love or healing or perspective or whatever it needs, okay? Um, so, which brings me to the topic of the the watcher within ourselves that watches us. Um, this is a key to mastering the self. Um, it's mastering our, our own consciousness, you see. Um, 
because there's this part of us that has this ability to just observe us, our, our own personalities, um, our own personality self. And, and that, you know, that, that part of us is reacting, right? Um, it's, 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 it's what, 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 the way we're being in the world, you know, by the way we're playing things out, you know, by the way we're acting, by the way we're reacting. Um, you could call this part of us the ego, you know, it's our personality self. Now, <coughs> we may not be aware of, um, this one who watches in our psyches, um, in our consciousness, I should say. Um, and, and, and hopefully with this video, um, I, 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 I can bring this part of you into your awareness. Um, and you can call her in, you know, like you can get to know her. Um, and, and then, um, start, paying attention, you know, um, and seeing, seeing things through her eyes. Okay. So finding that, that one who watches is the first step or if simply acknowledging her, <laughs> um, and then practicing observing yourself. Um, now you're observing yourself and your behaviors and even your own thinking. Um, and now you've mastered, you know, like you, this is the step you've taken in self mastery in controlling your own self, um, not being ruled by the ego, not being ruled by the personality self. Um, because if you can observe it, then you can change it or adjust it as need be, or you can have greater understanding that self insight. You know, when I work with my clients, I'm, 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 I'm acting as that mirror. You can do it for yourself is my point. Okay. Um, and then the, in this way you're employing this wisdom, you know, that, that does lie within you. Okay. So that's all I have for today. Um, 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 I would, I'm encouraging you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also you can support my work on Patreon. Um, you can find me on patreon.com under mountain woman and I'm also available for private um, intuitive reading sessions that include tarot and astrology and um, private personal coaching. Okay, blessed be everybody.